Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Fate Extra. In the last episode we encountered Archa. And uh, let's continue. Uh, this sucks, I was praying that I wouldn't be summoned by mistake. But I see my hope was misplaced. Showing selfless strength is difficult, regardless of one's age. I guess I'll just flounder around pointlessly. I came here in response to a voice calling for me. What kind of modern would needless call a servant like me? Hmm. It pains me to acknowledge it, but since you're the only one here, let me ask, just to be sure, are you my master? Oh yes indeed, I am your master. I see. It's not like I, s I get a say, but I've been called by yet, by yet another odd master. I should be used to it by now. But a contract is a contract. I'll lend you my power if you want, and and we'll fight for you until you wish your wish ends. You were just shouting why a moment ago. There are very few people who who, who know the answer to that question. Well, it's not a bad wish, per se. I, know pl I now pledge that I will fight by your side until your wish causes ceases to be. Archie is such a bad, a bad uh, such a good person. It's, it's so nice. He takes a hold of my hand and helps me to to, uh, to my feet. From the from the hand he had grabbed comes a sudden warmth. War warmth? Yes, warmth. And then a sharp pain, like I've been cut by a knife. On the back of my hand, as though tattooed, is a strange symbol that looks like some kind of crest. Totally confused, I alternate between sta staring at the mark on my hand and the person standing before me. And then... Holy shit! A noise behind me brings me back to, to my senses. Turning around, I see that the effigy from before is still there, now in the in a fighting stance. I went unco uncontrollably, recalling my previous defeat at its end. This seems to be as good an opportunity as any for you to show me to show me your skills as a master. Really, it's nothing to get worked up over. I'm not going to be at my best with a novice master, though. Whatever, I'm used to getting the short end of the stick. Just show me as much as your power as you can. Here comes a new challenger. Uh, I can see everything. I, I, I can see the future. I can predict the future. Oh, sweet. Archer is so badass. Just look at him. Mother, Mother it's not over yet. Cuz I can see everything. Down. Level up. The battery difficulty stops moving. There's no way it will still function after being effectively torn apart. I guess I can give you a passing grade, barely. How is th how was that barely? I, 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 I made a nice to the battle through the battle. I was like spectacular. I expect more from you in the future. He continues to talk. However, the sound of his voice doesn't quite reach my ears. The heat coming from the mark on my hand grew in intensity during the fight and the resulting pain has become unbearable and burns through my consciousness. The mark imprinted on your... Uh, whoops, just a second. Uh, the mark imprinted, imprinted on your hand is, uh, is your command seal. It is proof that you hold domi do dom dominion over a servant. You can use it to give three orders that must be obeyed. 
Think of them as disposable strengthening spells. It is also proof of your participation in the Holy Grail War. If you lose it for some reason, you will die. Once again, I hear the voice. I somehow manage to ignore the pain and listen to what it, it has to say. I can understand your confusion. But before I forget, congratulations. You have endured much to make it here. Now rest for a while, you have achieved your first goal. It was an incredibly clumsy effort to say the least, but that's what made it all the more entertaining. I've had this duty for a long time, but this is the first time I've seen the master as helpless as you. Nevertheless, be proud of your achievement. Your quick thinking came as a result of nerve and nerves and rashness. Thinking about it, the voice sounds like that of a 30-year-old man, and it's really irritatingly smug. For some reason, I can see the owner of a voice as a priest dressed in a sober cassock. Ca ca uh, I don't know. <coughs> oh, you are curious about my identity. I am honored, but I am insignificant. I am merely a part of the system. I am just a guy tasked with giving a standard message and given the personality of a prior participant. I am no more than words, no more than the mountain y you just conquered, no more than a record of the past. A record. So if I raise any subject object objections to this voice, does it mean I won't receive any answers in return? Exactly. Well, this is unexpected. You have received a com commendation, something about you having a light. I have no clue who would say such a thing about me. But that short phrase threatened my heart because, for some unknown reason, I knew the words were sincere. And as for I expect good things from you, it seemed like more of a command than an encouragement. Now let us commence your baptism. You have proven yourself worthy of the honor. For most, the monotony of everyday life continues on without end. Your decision to look beyond the accepted and progress means you have earned the right to exist. However, you have but taken the first step. Be jubil ju jubil jubilant? That's probably jubilant. Uh, young knight. For the Holy Grail War begins now. I have no idea what he is talking about. The Holy Grail War? The right to exist? That is correct. An object of great power once existed in the world, one that could grant any desire. People called it the Holy Grail, and fought endlessly in an attempt to gain sole possession of it. This war, the system you find yourself in now, is an evolution of those struggles. You stand at the entrance of a deadly struggle where many magi will perish in pursuit of the Holy Grail war. Listen, magi. I had... Had I not bestowed upon the earth desire, you'd be merely saints capable of committing sin. Now fight to the death. The fierce throne of heaven will only receive those with the strongest of desires. The voice rever rever reverberates throughout this hidden chapel, as if it were the voice of a god. Kill? Magi? Holy grail that grants wishes? What's that? Uh, this, these questions and more swir swirl inside my head and almost seem to carve themselves into my flesh. In war, a weapon is needed. That is your servant. They are the spear that pierces, the shield that protects. A legendary soul whose purpose is to clear your way to the, to the grail. That is the one who stands beside you. Yes, it's the archer. The badass archer. I glance over at the young man in red standing next to me, who's gla who glances at me and then looks away. He's my servant. It seems you have decided, and with that decision as payment, I now open the gates to the Holy Grail War. The, mar the marks on my hands, the my command seals, once again begin to become excruciatingly, excruciatingly, oh, fucking oh, painful. It's over, I can't take it anymore. 
I reach the limit of my endurance and my mind starts to shut down. As I lose consciousness, I can vaguely hear the voice's final words. Now, let the Holy Grail War begin. No matter the era, deciding who is more worthy through battle is the divine providence of man. Magi who have been invited here by the moon, show me your true strength. I will show you my true strength. Yes, I would like to save my progress, please. That speech, though. First week. Yeah, I remember having this game having a lot of death talk. Everybody's always talking about death and about killing everyone and about killing the next guy in front of him. Uh, more death. It's death everywhere. The sky burns. Even the sky is dead. I don't know. Uh, houses collapse into ruin. People fall to the ground. Yes, everybody dying. Uh, roads come to an end. The conflict started here. With this, the world, the world that was will be restored. It is here that I alone had survived. Don't remember. Oblivion is salvation and sin. Never forget. I was born from prediction. This must be a nightmare. This had to be somewhere. It could be anywhere. These events that occurred in the true memories of childhood. A turret of blood flows and voice resonates with bitter resentment can be heard. Lives fade away without a thought. Friends, family, strangers, all gone. Soldiers with guns, families trying to hold together. A grotesque struggle to the last until a gentle peace descends as death comes to claim them. I could not accept all I have seen. The question of why never left me. Even with a divine betwi divide between conflict and co catastrophe, why did such a tragedy occur? No, more importantly, why has this world been turned into hell on earth? I wonder why. A gentle rain begins to fall. All things once living fade away, leaving only one behind. Amidst the helplessness and despair, their soul's last feelings are the rage and regret. The rain wets their cheeks as their eyes close one last time. Dying forgotten and alone. Seeing this, I struggle to rise from the death of death. Uh, I will not accept what I have been shown. If I can live again, I will definitely. But there are no second chances, and before long, the rain has cleansed the scorched earth. Major plot line just there. Not going to spoil anything, though. Never forget, I was born from prediction, what that means. Somehow, please don't forget it. Such poetry. Such beautiful poetry. It seems I saw some sort of twisted, distorted dream. I'm in the infirmary, I guess. The nurse office. With that I wake up in the nurse's office. I must have collapsed and was brought here. So was that world the effigy that blocked my way and that servant all a dream as well? Nope. Not at all. No, this nurse's office is far different than the one I knew. It's similar but off somehow. Geez, it took you long enough to wake up. You've been taking pretty easy, I see. Pfft, this is easy. 
A young man dressed in crimson garb suddenly appears by s by the side of my bed. The mad the the mad <laughs> the man had earlier left an in indelible impression on me, so he is what is called a servant. So is everything okay with you? Tell me if you feel pain anywhere. As the Holy Grail War has begun, monitoring my master's condition is now a necessity. Before I go on, you did enter the Holy Grail War knowing what you were getting into, right? Of course, my, my, my good servant. Uh, so moving on. Do you know what a servant is? Yes, I do know what a servant is. I, I indeed do know. That's good to hear. Oh, by the way, I'm I am an archer. I excel excel in the use of bows. Even though I use swords and bows. Uh, archer. His personality is kind of grand, great grating. I don't know. Uh, but I can't fault his abilities as servant. Wait, if all servants are legendary souls, I wonder who Archer was in real life. My true name? I don't remember it. Cause fuck that, right? Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> Fault. Um, no, not all legendary souls are legendary. You probably wouldn't know it even if I told you. For the time being, my abilities are far more important than my true name. Also, most masters refer to their servants by their class so as not to give away their identity. So call me Archer. That and I do not see the point of revealing my true name during all of this. Bye bye. With that my servant disappears into the adder. However, I can feel their presence nearby. They must be staying out of sight when they are not needed to, so their identity can be compromised. But how their identity would be guessed just by their appearance is beyond me. Oh look who's here, it's Sakura Mato. Uh, she's so cute though. Ah, uh, Igor, you're finally awake. I'm so relieved. You don't seem to have any injuries. So feel free to leave when you feel like it. Also, all your memories have been restored by the Seraph. So do not worry. Any magi that seek the Holy Grail have their memories suppressed and are given those to uh, of a student. Only ma masters who manage to recover themselves are allowed to enter the main tournament. Now that you have regained your memories, please review them to make sure they're complete. Regained memories? That's not right. Outside of my name, I can't recall anything of my past. I realized that everyone around me was forced to believe they were normal students. However, I cannot remember a single thing that happened to me before then. Your memory restoration failed? I cannot help you. I, Sakuramato, am just a custodial AI. My complaints were totally ignored. It seems that she can't act beyond their programming. Yeah, that's just sad though. Uh, oh, I should give this to you before I forget. Portable terminal. She gives me some kind of portable terminal. I used it. I assumed it's for getting messages and whatnot. Hmm, as a participant, uh, you should pay attention to any messages that appear on your terminal. Yes, yes, I know what the terminal is. Jesus. Okay, this is probably a good spot to end the episode. Mm, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you guys next time.